What's up? It's Jen Brown. Welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. So today I'm going to briefly go through um, the bookshelf back there. Um, these are cookbooks. I just oops, tug it on the mic cord. Um, I just realized I didn't include these. Um, here are my cookbooks. Um, but if you happen to see my scissor collection video, unlike that, I'm not going to sit here and go through every single book with you because Nick and I are both book lovers, bibliophiles, whatever you want to call it. Um, and if you are interested in that kind of thing too, I thought maybe, like me, you'd be interested in just seeing how other people organize their books. But I just thought it would be fun to kind of show the way we have our books arranged and just kind of let you see what kind of books we have. I will say right now, no, I have not read every book on my shelf, but I'm working on it. I just wanted to go ahead and show you what my bookshelf looks like. Okay, so we're gonna see how well we do. Somebody is talking on speakerphone outside the window, so this might just be a voiceover. Trying to- I'm back against the wall as far as I can be, trying to give you the whole picture. Mostly because I used to work at a library and because I like organization, most of this is done in alphabetical order. This first section and these are- they're not all fiction, but they're like regular books. Then these two shelves, this little hunk, and all of this up here are sort of like reference books. Then these are all regular books again. So all the kind of like regular ones are in alphabetical order, and the other ones are more kind of just like categorized. Um, if anyone cares, I can explain in the comments about all of our tchotchkes. We are tchotchke people, but I'm not gonna sit here and explain it all. Got some good... good shots of all of this. We did build this bookshelf ourselves. Um, I designed it and like painted, but we didn't have enough tools, so Nick mostly built it, but this one belongs to somebody else, so that's why it's up here. Uh, we are more and more running out of space, and so I will probably eventually resort to stacking books, but we'll skip the reference stuff for now. But eventually, um, we want to either build a big one or add to this, but this is actually a really cool magnifying glass that you can use to look at stuff. I also have the occasional fake book. This is one of those boxes that I can hold secret stuff. I don't think there's anything actually in that. There's a big space here right now. Um, I'm a huge Tamara Pierce fan um, and I am currently acquiring all of her tortle books so I'm leaving some space for that. That's where I keep my juggling balls. I'm learning how to juggle. Uh, we have two sets of Harry Potter, um, hardback and paperback. We couldn't get rid of them. There's our umbrella. Some cool rocks. This is my current collection old books. Um, I actually just inherited a number of these, so this section just got redone. I eventually would like to get cases like this, either for like the whole stack or for a couple of stacks. I've had this complete work of Shakespeare from 1854, that's like my pride and joy, although a lot of these um, are actually from a similar time period. Um, but my parents gave me that for Christmas one year, and I found, like, a really random website 
that let you order custom acrylic cases that weren't super expensive. I think I paid like $40 for this and it fits perfectly, but then the next time I wanted to do it, I could not find that site back, and everything I find is like really either really expensive or you can't custom size it. So I want to, I might just try to find one that can fit this whole stack. Um, Cause I, I honestly, I try, I have a, like a set of gloves that I try to wear when I touch these, and I really don't like them just kind of sitting out so exposed, but I need to get those covered. There's a cool model train puzzle that Nick put together. So up here we have, we'll start at the beginning. There's where I keep our stash of masks to wear to work. I just made a bunch more because school just started, so I'm back at work. These, um, a friend left at our house a couple of years ago and just never came back for them, so we just brought them with us when we moved and now they're helping us out. So we've got all of our art books up here. We are both artists, so we have a lot. Um, there's kind of just like general artist things, color stuff, painting, going into a little bit of drawing, sculpture books craft books, architecture books, street art stuff, tattoo art, um, and then we have like artists, either biographies or about artists. I did just do like a purge and got rid of a bunch of books we don't use, but we both had copies of this Mark Rothko book and they were small, so I didn't have the heart to get rid of them. Then these are just sort of like pop culture art books movie stuff, and then video game art. I just got this Bloodborne book, um, so it does not have a home yet, but... If you play video games, this is the new Monster Hunter World book. It's amazing, but it's terribly bound and falls apart, so get it on sale if you can. So if we come down here, we have an interesting collection of old textbooks, old dictionary, random France guidebook that I got, dictionaries, old textbook, Nick's yearbooks, I have no idea where mine are. Down here, this is actually where our stash of board games are. Those used to be on the top, but we ran out of space up there. I want to have more board games, but we just don't have enough people to play with a lot of times, so it's hard to play a lot of them with two people. These are my fashion books, um, some comic books that I have. This is sort of like movies and is now um, like my pop-up book collection. Those are some D&D books. Um, my beautiful history of American Scissors and Shears book. And a book on like medieval knights and armor. There's some stuff like that that's upstairs that I'll show you in a minute. Then we've got music books, music and theater, and then these are like about musicians. Um, Please Kill Me is the history of the punk movement, so it's not just one musician. But we've got Bob Geldof from Boomtown Rats, Five Against One is Pearl Jam, Punk Movement, and then a bunch of books on Queen because they're my favorite. Okay, it's a little dark in here, hopefully it'll be maybe a little better on the other side, but like I said, we are both artists, so this is our kind of, this is the spare bedroom and this is our like art room. Sorry, I just walked up the stairs. I'm breathing a little heavier. Um, but we have these like shelving units with all our stuff on them. And so I actually took this idea from Nick, but he has some of his like favorite books that he's been reading or just like stuff for school or things that are helpful when he's drawing and painting and put them up here. So I will walk you over to my side. This is my art slash sewing slash writing fantasy novels area. 
<laughs> so I took this idea. Is that gonna be too washed out from the sunlight? I put that curtain behind the books to try to keep it from fading. But this is my kind of research section for the books that I'm writing. Um, but I've got, it's a fan, I'm writing a fantasy series, so I have books about building fantasy worlds, um, weapons, ghosts, mysterious things, goth stuff, um, and things about magic and magical creatures. I'm still trying to get, some of these are left over from when I was doing thesis writing research. Uh, we keep joking that this is like my restricted section of our library, so when we have a bigger bookshelf it'll be its own little section, but I'm still kind of acquiring research books for that, but I have all those up here, so if I want to sit up here and write or work on storyboarding stuff, I have all of this up here. So there's our incredibly vast book collection. It is constantly growing. I think I mentioned a couple of times books that are on the way or ones that I'm still working on getting. We originally built that bookshelf, our old house. Our, it had like a separate room that was a dining room and it was pretty small but the only things that fit in there were our dining table, our pantry was in there, and then we built that bookshelf to go across the one wall and we wanted to build it taller at first but we decided to start there but I think taller would have been better because we quickly ran out of space. Um, but it'll get bigger. I think eventually when we move out of this place, we'll do a bigger, more exciting one that will hopefully have lots of free, free space for our ever-growing collection. I just thought that would be fun to kind of share. Like I said, I'm really interested in knowing how other people arrange their books, so if you want to share that down below, feel free. I'm always interested in learning about it. Um, but thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.